Hi, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and we are in the final lessons. This is the introduction to the final lessons. Our final lessons will be left as free of words as possible. We use them but at the beginning of our practicing and only to remind us that we seek to go beyond them. Let us return to him who leads the way and makes our footsteps sure. To him, we leave these lessons as to him, we give our lives henceforth. For we would not return again to the belief in sin that made the world seem ugly and unsafe, attacking and destroying, dangerous in all its ways and treacherous beyond the hope of trust and the escape from pain. He is the only way to find the peace that God has given us. It is his way that everyone must travel in the end because it is this ending God himself appointed. In the dream of time, it seems to be far off and yet in truth, it is already here, already serving us as gracious guidance in the way to go. Let us together follow in the way that truth points out to us and let us be the leaders of our many brothers who are seeking for the way, but find it not. And to this purpose, let us dedicate our minds, directing all our thoughts to serve the function of salvation. Unto us, the aim is given to forgive the world. It is the goal that God has given us. It is his ending to the dream we seek and not our own. For all that we forgive, we will not fail to recognize as part of God himself. And thus his memory is given back completely and complete. It is our function to remember him on earth as it is given us to be his own completion in reality. So let us not forget our goal is shared for it is that remembrance which contains the memory of God and points the way to who can offer this to us. He is the way, the truth and life that shows the way to us. In him resides salvation offered us through our forgiveness given unto him. We will not end this year without the gift our father promised to his holy son. We are forgiven now and we are saved from all the wrath we thought belonged to God and found it was a dream. We are restored into sanity in which we understand that anger is insane, attack is mad and vengeance merely foolish fantasy. We have been saved from wrath because we learned we were mistaken. Nothing more than that. And is a father angry at his son because he failed to understand the truth? We come in honesty to God and say we did not understand and ask him to help us to learn his lessons through the voice of his own teacher. Would he hurt his son or would he rush to answer him and say, this is my son and all I have is his. Be certain he will answer thus, for these are his own words to you. And more than that can no one ever have, for in these words is all there is and all that there will be throughout all time and in eternity. I don't think I need to say much. If you'd like additional support, please feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003, texting is best.
or you can message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or through my websites, lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. Until tomorrow for the final lessons, or actually not tomorrow, later today for the final lessons. And for the next five days as you'll re-listen to them, namaste and much love.